नाउ लेट सी स्टेटिक और लीकेज और स्टैंड बाई पावर सेपरेशन सो एज आई said there there are many sources of leakage power dissipation here we will consider the soft threshold leakage so let's understand the how the the input characteristics of a uh, transistor so if we draw the input characteristics of a transistor let's see id and uh, vgs minus vt or vgs so the input characteristics will be something like this correct where this is nothing but here we have the threshold voltage so ideally what is expected the expected behavior from the transistor is when the input voltage or gate vo gate voltage reaches threshold voltage the transistor will start conducting but before that during weak inversion also some uh, channel has built and due to that there will be small sub threshold leakage current so whatever current which is flowing due to the weak inversion region that is nothing but sub threshold current and now see the effect of sub threshold with lower thres low uh, threshold uh, transistor and higher threshold transistor so if we have a transistor which voltage threshold voltage is high suppose this is the characteristics if we have a transistor with the lower vt then that transistor voltage will be something like this the vt will be lower for that transistor vt lower vt high so if a transistor with lower voltage if you have a transistor with lower voltage then a small voltage applied through the uh, through the transistor will also make the transistor on or the weak inversion region here can be formed at a very small voltage but instead if you have a higher voltage then the inversion will happen at a comparatively high voltage so here basically we are uh, focusing on the leakage that means before the transistor becomes on a lower vt transistor for a lower vt transistor a small noise can also make it in the weak inversion region and uh, that means the current flowing in that weak inversion region is nothing but our Uh, sub threshold leakage current so always remember the, st uh, the the static power or leakage power can be minimized by applying a higher vt transistor so how we can increase the threshold voltage of a transistor by the body biasing that will basically affect the threshold voltage i am not here also going to be uh, in more details of the uh, derivation of the threshold uh, voltage but the threshold voltage by applying the body bias to the transistors the threshold voltage can be Uh, mean uh, can be maximized or the threshold can be increased by applying the body bias so if you would like to know more details on how this is happening i can cover this in our in one of uh, the next videos and uh, why do we want to increase the threshold voltage because a higher threshold voltage with a higher threshold voltage transistors the leakage current is uh, lower in higher threshold voltage the leakage current is lower so that is a reason we want to use a higher vt transistor but again the disadvantage of that will be a higher vt transistors will be slow that is the disadvantage of high vt transistor and that is the uh, reasons why we are going to low vt transistor where the low vt transistor are faster compared to high vt transistors so if you see here the circuit is in standby here actually we have designed our circuit uh, carefully that whenever the circuit is in standby mode apply the body biasing otherwise do not apply the so the switch is on whenever the circuit is in standby mode so in standby mode the, the transistor is become a high vt transistor and high vt transistor means the leakage current through the transistor will be less so when the circuit is standby the speed of the circuit doesn't matter and the leakage current can be optimized but the but when the circuit is in functional mode and we need the circuit to be operate at higher speed this standby can be we can switch off this this switch and it will become a low vt transistor so this is nothing but a kind of variable body biasing where by means of body biasing we are either increasing or decreasing the threshold voltage of voltage of transistor so this is how again we can redesign our we can design our circuits as that we have the uh, the body of the circuit in reverse bias now the another way of implementing the high vt transistor is by means of a slip transistor so here we have a circuit with lower vt so lower vt circuit we have because this circuit we want to operate at higher uh, frequency because lower vt will have high speed so this circuit is as lower vt but the drawback of lower vt is nothing but more leakage current so whenever the low vt transistor in standby mode 
or in the slip mode we have these two extra transistors here which are high VT transistors and that can become on and off depending on this slip signal. So whenever the device is in slip mode when slip is high that means this transistor is off here. So the high VT transistor is off here is standby mode. So with high VT actually the leakage current through this transistor is going to be less. So this basically transistors will minimize the leakage current. So friends, I hope the concept of low power design is clear. If you have any doubts, please write down in the comment section. Also, if you like this video, please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe this channel so that you won't miss any such videos in the future. Thank you very much.